What's up, everybody? It's DD, my dead friends. I'm here filming with my iPhone 11. I just got in. I rigged. Stomp. I O. It is a new pedal that I just picked up where I can hook my iPad into the pedal and have amp simulators and use the pedal to trigger off of my iPad. Things can get a little expensive with this. Uh, I believe it was $150 for me to get the complete version of Amplitude and this pedal alone is $300. So around like $400, $450. Like I know this does come with certain software. I won't be using any of this because I still am not using a laptop. But the reason why I got this is because I've been recording everything into my iPad. And for me not to use processing power on my iPad, I want to do all of my processing inside of here before I record my guitar and my bass parts into my iPad. So look, we got a few things here. You can just hook up your iPhone, iPad, Windows tablet, eh, Mac or desktop PC, standalone. Let's check out the back here real quick. All right, we got a stomp. So yeah, a bunch of little things here. I'm gonna pull it out. We'll check all this stuff out a little bit closer. Let me cut this open. I just wanna do, you know me, I'm not much of a an unboxing channel, but this is something I got. And I figured I'd just show you guys here real quick. I'm not gonna do any editing to the video. Nothing like that. Bam, first time opening it. Looks nice. Another thing, I was surprised actually how much weight it has. Looks like a couple boxes in there. Get this out of here. These little foam pads off. I got a watch throwing them off to the side. Last time it had my power supply inside it, I threw it off to the side. Cool. Nice. I don't notice any scratches or anything on it. I'm always looking for that kind of stuff. Make sure I'm not getting some used product. This I was real worried about, but it actually seems like it has tension to it. All the knobs feel good. They all feel nice and tight. Let's check out the back of this thing and show you the reason why I got it. So not only I can hook up my guitars, but this is dual XLR and quarter inch for guitars, my bass. So I can also put that kind of stuff in there, but I can also hook a microphone up to this and use the effects for a mic, which I like. It has its own phantom power, awesome. It has its own headphone jack, so I can monitor this without even, I can have this up in my bedroom just trying out different programs. Output, balance, left and right output, because some of these effects on here will be stereo effects. MIDI in and out, which can get very interesting. And these extension one and extension two, I know there's certain things you can do with those. I'll have to look into that more. Your USB out. And this is a special like DIN pin thing that they have to go to your iPad, which will sit up on top of here. Your power. And of course, this little thing everyone always wonders what that is. That's so you can put the power in, wrap your power cable around this, tighten it. That way, if someone goes and drunkenly trips over your power, it won't unplug. So there you have it. I'm gonna plug this stuff in. We'll check it out real quick. See what it's like. I rig, I stomp. Let's go. What was in this white box? I'm guessing it's just the power supply. Let's pull out and see all the goodies they got in here. Oh. So yeah, here we go. Here's our power supply, which it looks like it also has foreign adapters for it. Yep, here's all the foreign adapters for the power supply. What's up, Fred? USB cable. Yeah, this is your DIN USB cable. This is actually the lightning. So you see there, you see that pin? How it's different. That'll plug into the back of the iRig. And then lightning will plug into my iPad. This looks like just the basic USB cable. And what's this? Download codes, download codes, and just some basic in and out instructions. 